Well, hi everyone. With Will and John both away with their families, it falls on me, your humble deacon, your serving curate, to bring you the weekly update this week. And what a week it is. It's been so hot. Too hot. Too hot. It's just too hot. But the storms are coming, but we're going to ride those out. But if you're home or away, whether you're on staycation or vacation, we hope that you are having a great time. Um, there's, there is lots still going on, but what we're encouraging you to do is do it together. Whether it's in a group of six or two households, let's gather together. Whether it's to watch the Sunday service or to just play a game and have some time, um, there is opportunity to, to connect at the moment, which is great. So do pick up the phone, drop someone an email, try and find some time to, to connect with others across the church. We're doing all we can to look at the wider options of church after the summer. Um, I'm hoping to bring you a bit of an update next week on something that we're hoping to do in September, um, but we'll see looking at everything, every option about how we can gather from October onwards. If you didn't see it on the Facebook community page last over the weekend, Martin Leach posted uh, a, a report on the devastation in, in Beirut with the explosion that went on there and, and about the work that Tear Fund are doing to support Lebanon and Beirut. So if you haven't seen it, go and click onto the Facebook community page, read up on that and watch the video that he's posted. In some lighter news, we've had some great kids competitions that are running through the summer. The first one's just ended and congratulations to Lois who won this week's prize for finding the most creative place to read the Bible. She was up a tree, just like Zacchaeus. Searching for Jesus, she was reading the Bible, planted up a tree. This week, it's about building um, your Bible story, whether that be out of Lego or paper or anything you can find, building a, a model of your, your Bible story and send that through to Liz to see if you can win next week's prize. There is some other fun coming up that we're looking to do. Jesus Rocks is a new initiative. And that's not rocks with a guitar like Stuart hoped. It's rocks as in pebbles and stones. Um, what we're encouraging you to do for, for some fun to help the campaign to get Tri Alpha out there across Mid Sussex and beyond, even when you're on holiday, get some rocks, get a pebble, maybe draw a picture or write a message of hope, and on the back, write hashtag Tri Alpha and then our web address, thepointchurch.co.uk, and leave it, whether it be in leave it on beach or leaving it in a in a pathway or in the woods. For other people to find and other people to read that message, to read some hope in this time of stress and anxiety and to be encouraged to, to go to our website to find out about Alpha and what it could mean for them. So join in with the fun. It's just going to be riding through the summer. It would be, uh, be fun for us all to engage in that. There's every opportunity. It's so easy. And Liz will be sending out some more information over the next couple of days. This week coming up on Sunday, we've got a great service lined up. Liz is going to be talking about the obedience of Naaman. Um, so that would be good to hear. We have a great testimony from Emily Taylor to share. Um, and we're going to be having the kids and youth sessions running on YouTube for those uh, on, on Sunday morning. So do join us then. Until then, have a great few days. Bless you. And we hope to connect with you on Sunday. See you.